24 for Kenley and Reading will leave from platform 21. Falling at Richmond, Twickenham, Witton, London every morning a million people travel to work and every evening travel home to the inner and outer suburbs of the capital depending on the railways for their day transport to and from central London. London's buses converge upon the main railway stations from every part of the great city. from the network of London's underground railways, the moving stairways carry a ceaseless flow of people right into the stations. Their mainline steam trains and suburban electric trains will take them to their journey's end. Every two minutes, an electric train comes into this station, only one of London's 14 main terminals bringing workers, shoppers, servicemen on leave or changing billets, visitors and pleasure seekers from the thickly populated suburbs adjoining London and from the pleasant country towns beyond as far as the white cliffs of the sea coast. Exactly four minutes after it came into the station, the train is on its way again, filled with new passengers. More than 700 electric trains enter and leave this station every day. A masterpiece of planning made possible by the combined efforts of all grades of railway workers. Much the same thing is happening at all London's main line stations. The centre of this network is the station signal box, working all the line junctions and controlling all arriving and departing trains. 
On the skill, on the intelligence and devotion to duty of these men depend the lives of all who go by train. A plan of the tracks controlled by these signals guides the signalman. On this plan, lights show the movement of every incoming and outgoing train. His levers control the movable junction points in the complex track system outside. By these levers, quick changes can be made in the line connections, picking the right path for each train and enabling vast quantities of traffic to move smoothly and safely over a comparatively small number of lines. Every 30 seconds, a train is passed in or out of the station by this signal box. 1,704 steam and electric trains are handled at this station every day. During the two busiest hours of the day, over 300 trains are guided in and out. Vital to safety in railway travel is the work of repair and maintenance gangs. Wear and tear on wooden sleepers and steel rails by the passing trains make essential the inspection of every part of the track at least twice a day. trains serving the suburbs roll in and out of this station, long distance steam trains are arriving from the west of England. Each carriage is searched for articles left behind by passengers. Everything found on the train is taken at once to the station's lost property office, where name of train, date, time and description is recorded, and the articles kept waiting for the owner's claim. Most of them go back to their owners. Those left unclaimed after two months are sold by public auction. Millions of articles pass through the lost property office every year. You never know what will turn up next. False teeth or fur coats, boots or babies, skates or school books, prams or pin cushions, onions or umbrellas, enough umbrellas to keep the whole world dry. goods down from the platforms to the parcels office. Here, goods are sorted for dispatch by train. Hello. Passing through this London terminus is a medley of goods traffic. Fruit, milk, even occasional livestock. Whoa, whoa, this way. And provisions for London's tables. Yes. 
see me in a minute. That's me. That was. A tunnel communicates with lifts at every platform, speeding up the transfer of goods and luggage from one train to another on trucks drawn by electric tractors. Post office vans bring the mail in to the station where it is unloaded for long distance travel. The hundreds of thousands of letters and parcels passing backwards and forwards each day are multiplied now that war has split up so many British families. In his office overlooking the main station sits the station master who controls this vast railway terminus. On him depends the coordination of all the tasks that combine to operate the station's passenger and goods service. While the scene is the same, Crowds are always changing, coming and going on the local trains and on the express trains. A few of the hurrying passengers know of the multitude of operations needed to send this great train on its way, from the driving of the giant locomotive to the provision of meals on the journey. A dozen times a day this happens. Porters, trackmen, signalmen, drivers and stokers combine to prepare a great train for its journey until at last, on the minute, to the accompaniment of the goodbyes of wives and sweethearts, husbands and lovers, friends and families, it gathers speed and is off on the long trip, a living part of a great nation's transport system, the lifeblood of industrial Britain. Thank you. 